So Leon, you say we are ready. So you don't have to start it now yet. I give you seven days to begin. Okay? And then you can just let it go. But before we do, let's, let's talk about something very interesting, awesome, or inspiring. But before we do it, let's pray. Lord, I thank you. Right now, we stop. We're going to stop. We're going to fix our eyes on Jesus. We're going to focus on the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And we are going to enter into your presence. We are going to press in. Nothing is going to stop us. We have an appointment for an encounter with God. Lord, we are expectant, we are excited, and we invite you in, Holy Spirit. Do what you want to do. Have your way in this church this evening. We are so excited. We just give it all to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Message title tonight. Maybe you've guessed it already. Into the presence. Into the presence. Pressing in. You know, we get this concept where people say, you've got to get into the presence of God. And, and we've spoken about it this morning where we said, okay, I'm broken, maybe not. You know, we had a discussion about DIY. We talked about fixing sinks. We figured out I'm not good at that. We figured out someone else was at a hardware shop and they schooled me in the simple way of just replacing it. And we spoke about that in the presence of God. He takes our brokenness. He gives us wholeness. In the presence of God, He takes our sadness and He gives us joy. But it all happens in this place we call the presence. So if we can't get into the presence, it's not going to happen. Isn't that the case? If we say that all of this is available in God's presence, then we need to get in there. Isn't that what we're trying to communicate? Now how many of you just know, I just know how to get in there? Or some of you might say, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now I just want to clarify something this evening and I'm sure it will bless you as much as it blessed me in this week. And then we're going to have a good time. You excited? Okay, let's start it off. Psalm 100. And it's a short one, so we're going to read the whole one. And it's from the English Standard. It says, a psalm of thanksgiving. It says, shout happily to the Lord all the earth, serve the Lord cheerfully, come into his presence with a joyful song, realize that God alone is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep in his care. Verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, come into his courts with a song of praise, give thanks to him, praise his name. The, God, the Lord is good. His mercy endures forever. His faithfulness endures throughout every generation. Did you get that? I want to highlight verse 4 again. It says, Enter into His gates with a song of thanksgiving. Come into His courts with a song of praise. Give thanks to Him. Praise His name. You've got to understand something this evening. The Bible is full of types and shadows. One of them was the tabernacle. God was showing us something. If you, if you read and study this, you'll see that it speaks of God showing the model of the tabernacle to Moses. So it must be existing in a heavenly place for him to have said, Moses, you see this? This is what I need you to build. So he's showing Moses. Now, here he says, this tabernacle, we have to enter it with a song of thanksgiving, enter the courts with praise. We have to go into his courts and his, the, into the gates with thanksgiving and into the courts with praise. Now, if this is a, a, a natural explanation or a natural um, example of how we enter into God's courts as, as, they, as David was singing the psalm to the Lord. He's speaking about entering into the actual temple. Now we know with this prior uh, explanation that this is only a foreshadow of what it is in heaven. So God is showing us something and this it, it, the following. He's showing us this. There is no entering into His presence without thanksgiving and praise. There is no entering 
without worship. You cannot enter His presence like that if there is no worship. You cannot get into the presence because God is saying this tabernacle is a, a type and shadow of me entering into my presence. So I have to do it with thanksgiving and I have to do it with praise. It has to happen through worship. Psalm 22 verse 3. It says the following. It says, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Another translation says, And thou art holy, thou dwellest amidst the praises of Israel. The Bible tells us, uh, Paul explains it, he says, We are the Israel of God, the believers that come into, come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. He becomes our Savior, and God says, You are the new Israel. So he's speaking to us. He's saying, he dwells in the praises of his people. It's not just pertaining to Israel then. He's saying, in your worship, I dwell there. His presence dwells, resides, inhabits. It is located within your worship. So a lot of people ask me, man, I want to come to Saturday morning prayer, but an hour of praying, what do you do? Do you know what we really do that hour? We kick on some worship, and for an hour, we sing and pray, and sing some more and pray, and some of us eventually fall down because the presence is in the place. Why? Because we've been worshiping. We don't start by praying and thinking we're going we're gonna to coerce God by praying long prayers that sound good. And He's going to be like, okay, I'm obligated by now. I mean, they've really been praying an hour. Okay, I'll just show up for a split second. We get the presence. We're like, must have been the praying. You know, it's not that. It's the worship that says, come presence, come, I invite you in. And when the presence is in this place, there's no stopping it. There's healing. There is, there is freedom. There is deliverance. There's prophecy. It all happens. It all goes down in the presence. That's where it all happens. And we cannot have the presence without the worship. He inhabits your worship. Now guess what? The message is finished. But here's the thing. We are ending this joy series in a joyful way. And I, I pre-prepared four songs that I believe God has placed firmly on my heart. And... Uh, I invite you this evening to enjoy these four songs. And if God is leading you to sit down and think, do so. If God is leading you to get up and sing, do so. But I want to encourage you. The presence is in this place. And if you are looking for an encounter with God, this is it. And uh, I'm glad that I could prepare this because I see our praise and worship team are here. And I'm not going to ask them to do anything except experience the same thing that we are all going to experience. So I'm going to ask uh, Leon and he can play it for us. Worship and invite in the presence. Enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise. So let's worship together as we enjoy His presence.